Hi, I'm Ellie and I'm a student of the Carinthian University of Applied Sciences. Today we're going to interview Ulla Birnbacher about the bachelor degree program of Green Transition and Engineering. By the way, she is the head of this program, so follow me. Um, what exactly is taught in the new bachelor degree program Green Transition Engineering and which subjects are included in this degree? Uh, this program is special because it covers two areas. On the one hand side, it's the topic of green transition and students will learn about the different dimensions like the ecological dimension or the economic dimension or the social dimension. Uh, what is needed for a sustainable development of our world. Secondly, the second big topic is digitalization data engineering. So students will learn about how they collect data, how they combine data, how they store it, how they process it, how they integrate it with other data from databases of climate, for example. And then how to visualize it and to retrieve information out of this data. So these are the two big areas. Coming to what is taught in the different semesters, students, particularly in the beginning, for us it's important that students come here and get to know our university, how to study here, and to see also why they need to study which subject. So the first module will be an our orientation outdoor project, where students get to know each other and get to know the topics we are we'll be talking about and why it is, for example, necessary to study basic subjects like mathematics, physics, biology. Um, but nevertheless, also in starting from the first year, they also have the insights into ecology, the climate change, um, the transition processes that are necessary. Um, <clears throat> and they will start from the first year also to get trained in IT, in uh, programming, in databases and things like that. Um, particularly for us, it was important to include a lot of practical experience also in the curriculum. So after they have acquired a lot of competencies, they should apply them in projects, in interdisciplinary projects. So there is a, a project running over a whole year, which they do in teams on topics coming from the outside or from the real world uh, where they can apply these competences. And additionally, we have in the curriculum an internship, which they should, will do with companies to work on the problems of the companies. And then after writing a bachelor thesis and doing their last lectures, they will then be graduates of this Green Transition Engineering program after three years of studies. So the practical um, part of this study is a unique thing about this, but what is other things that are unique about this degree program? Um, it's unique that on the one hand side, students get this comprehensive understanding of the challenges in ecological, social and economic uh, topics that are needed for the sustainable transition into a sustainable uh, future. On the other hand, they gain the competences in handling data and the digitalization. So they learn how to collect the data, how to integrate, how to process it and how to combine this data to uh, come to uh, decisions in order to decide which measures are most effective um, to the sustainable development or if such measures are already in place, they can also prove if they have been successful and if they bring us to the right direction. Okay, um, so who might be interested in this course? Well, if you are interested in biology, physics or mathematics, you have a very good foundation to study this program. But if you are additionally interested to work with data and digital tools, to support um, the transition into a sustainable future, then it is the optimal program for you. Okay. And what language is used for teaching? Well, as the challenges of this transition are global, we need people from all the world to come together 
and look for solutions. That's the reason why we are inviting national and international students to come here and to study this program. And that's why we've chosen English to be the language used in class. Okay, so you choose English for, um, as a language for this class. So what level is necessary for the admission in this program? Well, it's necessary that you have good listening competences, speaking competences and writing competences in English. Um, for Austria, if you have a matura in English, you, this is sufficient to apply for this program. And for international students, they have to prove their competence of English language with certain certificates. Mm -hmm. So it's B2 uh, is the level required or higher. And um, where can I work after I completed the bachelor degree? The study program is covering a lot of topics which are important for all of us and for all the institutions and companies um, in the future. Hence, all companies will deal somehow with the question how they contribute to a sustainable economy. So our graduates will be able to work in a very broad field, yeah? ranging from small, little and large companies as they have to develop their processes to be more energy efficient or more environmental friendly. Uh, they have to do reporting uh, on these topics, but also, of course, the um, public domain in the, in the federal state, in the district or also in the, in the city. They have a lot of topics to be dealt in this area. So our graduates will be able to work everywhere where their competencies, particularly in digitalization and data engineering, are needed. And if I'm interested in this study, how do I become a student of Green Transition Engineering? For this, our homepage is very helpful. So you find all the information about the program and also about the specific lectures and modules there. And um, if you click then on Apply Now, you are asked to provide all the personal information and to upload the documents. They are then checked. So. Even if you forgot something, the admission office will get in contact with you and uh, request this missing information. Uh, and then they will check if everything is um, provided and if the uh, rules for admission are fulfilled. And then you would be invited to have an interview with me uh, where I discuss with you about your prior education and your motivation uh, why you want to study this in particular. And out of all the applicants, we select the um, most interested ones with the highest motivation and <laughs> the best um, background um, education to become students of this program. Can you describe uh, green transition engineering in three keywords? It's international challenges, it's digital solutions and it's sustainable future. Yeah, as we have to solve these international challenges, uh, we will we'll try to help with digital solutions to reach our goal of a sustainable future. So that's, I think, my three favorite keywords. If you're interested to develop solutions for a sustainable future, and if you're interested to use digital tools for this, you are invited to be part of the Green Transition Engineering degree program. Can go to our website and apply directly, and then we'll get in contact with you and we'll talk about your interests. So we are looking forward for your application and I hope to see you in autumn at the beginning of the program.